Hello, YouTube friends. Ben Ochart here. Today, I want to speak with you about the Hydor, the Corellia pump. This is their third generation pump, and it is uh, loaded with features, including compatible with their controllers. And uh, what impresses me the most is how much water it pushes, over 2,400 gallons per hour. So this pump is uh, moving a lot of water in the tank. It is a um, very flexible pump in that it has a very small footprint. The magnet system that attaches it to the tank is a dual magnet inside outside, keeping the hardware on the uh, inside of the tank to a minimum. And you can move that head all over the place so you can point it in, uh, in directions that were not previously available with other types of power heads. For the price, uh, for the quality of the build, which you notice immediately when you take it out of the box, uh, and for the um, amount of water that it actually pushes, it really was, for me, uh, a no-brainer uh, when it comes to uh, what pump that I want to put into this aquarium that would move detritus over to the intakes. Here's what Big Al has to say. Today, we're going to do a quick review on the Hydor Generation 3 Corallius. They're new and they're beautiful. So let's talk about the Hydor Generation 3. What makes it different than the other Corallias? Well, to start off, they've got a new dual magnet mounting system. It's also called the DMSS, or Dual Magnet Support System. This system uses two magnets, not just to couple, but also to hold the pump. And it's actually kind of cool because what it allows you to do is to have less space taken up inside the aquarium by the mounting system. And it also gives you pivot points that you didn't previously have. You can pretty much stick the pump onto that coupling any way you like, and it magnets in place. I'll show you. See this? See this? See? That's it, like that. Or you could turn it up, or you could turn it down, or you could turn it sideways. It will also work really well in cichlid applications where you might have a lot of fish producing a lot of waste and a lot of rocks in the way and you just want to blow everything everywhere and get it towards the filter. Here's the pump mounted in the tank using those uh, very small profile magnets. And here I am starting it up in real time with real sound. So as you can see, there's a small, very, very small click, which might have been actually the click of the timer being switched over to uh, going from timer to plug. But the actual unit itself starts very, very quietly and runs completely silently with zero vibration, zero hum, zero noise. So it's a very, very quality wave maker, power head, and... Uh, it's not really blowing the fish all over the place. One person, half man, half cichlid, suggested that having this kind of a powerhead would actually reduce aggression because the fish would be more interested in, the, in what was going on with the pump than in necessarily going after each other. I hope that's true because the uh, Fusco has been asserting himself recently and going after that autopharynx tetrastigma quite heavily. So uh, hopefully that... Uh, this pump will create a little bit of a uh, diversion for them. So I'm very happy with this pump, very happy with uh, the quality, the build, and the price, and I highly recommend it. So there's the update, and uh, certainly share your comments below. Let me know what you think about the use of power heads in an aquarium, and or about any of the other changes that I've uh, shown you in today's video. I do take your comments to heart, I do listen, I do uh, read them, and I often respond to them. I thank you for tuning in, and I also thank you for your support of the channel. It is noticed, and I am very grateful for it. So that's all for now, and uh, you rock, my friend.